Hi there, this is John from Resoft, and in this video we'll be showing you how to define the groups and servers or devices that appear in the server and device center in the RevView control center. In the control center we have the server and devices center here. So what we're talking about is how to build the groups. So all these groups here and then the servers or devices that comprise the group as well. That's what we're going to go through now. Okay, we have the RevView definitions open. Let's connect to the old slow coach. P05, Hyperion, the IBM i-series. Connect to it, go to options and select dashboard groups. You'll see all the dashboard groups you've got defined. Now for a group, very simple. Give it a name, give it a class. The class represents the image, and we'll go through that in a minute. And then a description. Then when you work with a group, this is the servers or devices within that group in the sequence order you would want to see them displayed in the control center. So ANZ has got a class called AUS. It's the Australian flag. We'll show you that in a sec. Then it's displayed in sequence order 10, 20, 30, 40, which are the servers, and the class, which are these images here as well. So the images live in wherever you've installed RevSoft, and then RevView.net 10.3, central and class. The images reside in the class subfolder within that folder or directory there. So whatever you define in here, it corresponds with the word class that you see in the definition. So we have them defined in there, and that's how they're displayed. Now, once you've defined them, you just open the RevView Control Center, and you've got the different groups. Now, a server or device can belong to multiple groups. And I should have showed you the servers or devices can be selected from a drop-down list here what we've got as well or just manually entered if they aren't reviewed they're the review connections but if you're entering a SAN a router a hub etc and in some of the examples inside we had fridges toasters microwaves things like that you you can manually type that in rather than selecting it from the list box now also in the rev IBM i group we've got revsoft lab 01 in there as well now the reason being that is basically a data center level. This is a customer level. So what I'm talking about in here is ANZ is data center level. If I then wanted to add the customer view of RevSoft IBMI, RevSoft IBMI, and there it is there. So that is a customer level. Whereas in this example, one of the IBMI is in the Australian New Zealand data center, one is in the European data center, one is in the US data center. Up to you, if you don't want to see that, just take it out of your view. Entirely up to you how you do it. So you can have a server or device belonging to multiple groups, depending on what view you want to be able to use when you're managing everything with the RevView Control Center. So the basics, once again, start with a group. Give the group a class, if you would like an image there. And the reason it says class there is it corresponds to the subdirectory class in the RevView Central installation. Just put them in there as PNGs, 16 size PNGs, and they'll display there. Again, it's optional. Once you've defined a group, then do a work with on the group, and that will allow you to add the devices in the sequence you would like to see them. Again, the class is the image you would like to see in there. So once again, let's go back to that. And we've got IBM IV5 there. So that's what it corresponds to when you see it right here. Wherever you see class, that's the first thing. It's either the group image or the server or device image. Now, hopefully that's enough information for you. If it's not, please contact us at uh, product underscore info at redsoft.com and send us any requests or comments. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.